Hey guys, it's Roxanne from RoxanneLynch.com. Happy Friday. It's glorious. It's a glorious, glorious Friday. I do agree. I hope you guys have had a fantastic week. Um, you know, we're all over the New Year celebrations. You know, we've got our goals, we've got our plans, we've got our actions, we've got our to-dos. Um, but I have some questions today and I thought I would really share this with you because I still have friends, I still have girls in my life that say, Roxanne, I don't know what to say in social situations. Roxanne, I don't know how to share my business, um, you know, when we're with a bunch of girls. Hey Jillian, good to see you sweetie, happy Friday. I'm not sure how to talk about what's going on in my life, um, you know, when there's a bunch of other people around. Because you know what, there's social graces that we should have, right? And dropping our business into that might not be perfect. It's not perfect and it's not the best to do on New Year's parties or Christmas parties. But it's certainly not always perfect at the kids' birthday parties or playing with the kiddos over there in the park or at a company event with your family and your spouse. So I have some tips for you. I have some really easy um, ways where you can drop that indirect hook and it's gentle and it's easy and it's not salesy, it's not spammy and it's very, very natural and yet you can still um, be able to express your voice but without making anybody being turned off because no one will, I promise you, no one, if you work with this, no one is ever going to feel like they're being sold. No one is ever going to feel like you're being chased or hunted or hounded and I mean that is the beauty of being able to work with a little bit of class, with a little bit of excitement, but then remembering that it's everybody else's first. In this world, in this crazy world where we don't feel um, that we're always being listened to, okay? So you're not the only one. Remember, everyone that you talk to feels the same way. They're not being listened to by their boss. They're not being listened to by their kids. Sometimes their spouse is listening. Their best friends are distracted with their own crisis and worries and stresses and dramas. You know, your coworkers, they certainly don't give a darn about your life. So remember that when you are at a tea party, when you're at the birthday party, when you're playing with the kids, when you are socializing and you bump into somebody, make it about them, okay? So I have a couple examples. I'm just going to kind of role play a story. And, you know, I wrote some notes because I want to make sure I keep on track because it is Friday. Um, I'm still a little groggy. I'm doing... Uh, I did those three webinars and, you know, I had fantastic attendance. I love being able to do webinars. If you can do one show, like one webinar, and have 10, 15, or 25 girls show up and do for one hour, I mean, I had a lot of eyeballs going on this weekend and I have a lot of follow-ups and leads. The weekend's going to be crazy, but this is for you girls in a social situation. So I wrote some notes. So remembering that you know, if you're talking about them and they're talking about their life and you say, you know, hey, Mary Jane, you know, how's that going out for you? You know, how are the kids doing? And they talk about the kids and, you know, how's the job going for you and what's new in your world? She talks about her world, you know, and, you know, how's her husband doing? Well, you know, with the oil feed here in Alberta, you know, the oil field's kind of still fighting that mini depression going on. You know, he's had his hours cut. You're listening for both excitement and joy and passions but you're also also very attentive to what her pains and her struggles um, you know and with the strifes that's going on in her life because for us to be able to provide solutions and ideas in future conversations we have to be very attentive to what's going on in their world okay and naturally we live in a reciprocating world right so as she's telling you her story and what's going on with the husband and the kids and her job Eventually, she's going to say, you know, so, you know, what is it that you do, Lisa? And it's like, you know, you simply say, I teach people how to make money from home using the internet. It's like, so, you know, well, how's that going to impact your husband in the oil field, you know? Is there any kind of a sign that's turning around or the oil prices going up, you know, over there? You know, you've just dropped something in casual conversation and then turned it back to her. You're focusing on her, her worries, her pains, her struggles, her excitements, her passions, and you're making it not about you. And the, she's gonna like, oh, okay, and she's gonna go back to talking about what her life is about. 
Eventually, though, it's still going to come back around to you, okay? And she's still going to come back and say, you know, well, so like, tell me more about that. And you just simply say, you know what, now's not really the time to be talking about this. You know, it's during the kid's Christmas party. He's just about out the cake candles. So, you know, how about, here's my phone. Send me a friend request, you know, and, and we'll chat more later on in the week. Always do the follow-up and make sure you do the follow-up, right? So it takes the stress of, I don't have to sell anything right now. I don't have to market anything right now. I don't have to have someone join my business right now. All you're doing is providing a spark of information that you've lit a candle and you've given the ability to like let that flame continue to grow um, by connecting on Facebook or whether it's Snapchat, maybe it's Instagram, maybe it's LinkedIn. Okay, so use whatever your favorite social media is that they love, of course, and be able to continue on that conversation and follow up with them at that later date. Make it about them and they're never going to feel like um, they're being sold to. They're never going to feel turned off. They're never going to be all grumpy because they feel they've been hounded and chased into a corner um, and, you know, made to produce their credit card right now and join your company and your business or buy your product. So build for the long term, have fun and have joy and take the stress off yourself. And you know, if you burned out your warm market like I did and you have to start right from less than scratch, you have to be building in that positive, easygoing, exciting way. I know it is a really cold door. We had another two inches of snow. So that's it for tonight. I'm going to keep this short and sweet, but I do want to share with you uh, 10 prospecting tips. This is prospecting, um, mostly using Facebook because that's my favorite social media platform. I'm going to drop the link in the comments below. And this is kind of a, a late Merry Christmas, Happy New Year present for you guys. This is different than the other Facebook cheat sheet that I shared out over Christmas. This is prospecting, okay? This isn't lead generation. This is pure prospecting. So this is what I want to be able to sh give you girls and guys. You guys, <laughs> you guys can have it too. So you guys have a fantastic night. Let's have a great weekend. Enjoy yourselves. Let's have some joy and excitement. And I will see you guys on the sunny side of life tomorrow. You guys take care. Bye, guys.